Hey guys, um, I am Mrs. Burke and I'm going to walk through and review how to find the area of squares, rectangles, and parallelograms. If you can recall, area is how much space something takes up. So we need to figure out how much space does something take up here. And so for all of these shapes, um, I know we're very, very comfortable with finding the area of that square and that rectangle. Um, it's your going to be finding the base times the height. So base is that bottom and that height is how tall something is. Today we are going to focus on identifying the height by looking for a right angle. And so a right angle, and we'll use this picture down here of this square, we know that a square has all sides that are the same and four right angles. In math we use this little box right here to represent a right angle. And our right angle actually makes a perfect 90 degree angle. And it's, so it's going to actually connect always our base with our height. And so this can be a right angle because again, we can rotate this shape. Right angles are going to tell you where your base and your height is. For area, again, it's that how much that space something takes up. So again, we're going to be multiplying those together. So we have two squares looking over here and understanding that formula is always going to be that base times that height. For a square, we know this is a square because these little lines indicate congruency, meaning the same. So these sides are the same length and there's four right angles. We're going to be multiplying our base times our height. So if we have this little box right here, this little 90 degree mark, it tells us our base and our height. We know that all sides are 6, so I'm going to show my work by taking 6 times 6, and that is going to give me 36. It's important to remember that when we are working with area, folks, area, we are going to be using them as squared units. This would be 36 centimeters squared. Again, that little square because we're going to figure out how much space something takes up. So let's try that again over here. This shape has four right sides and four right angles, so we know that it has to be a square. Area is being able to find our base times our height. And remember, we look for this right angle. This right angle is going to tell us what is your base and what is your height. Right angle, all sides in the square are the same, so we're going to be taking 9 times 9, which will give us that 81 centimeters squared. All right, let's look over here. We have now moved on to a different shape. We know it's a different shape because of the fact that we have two sides that are the same and two other sides that are the same. So we know here that not all of these sides are the same. So because not all of these sides are the same, it's going to be a rectangle. Again, we still find that same area by being able to look at the base times that height. Our right angle is going to tell us what that base is and what that height is. They connect. Here is a right angle. This right angle is connecting my base to my height. So I'm going to multiply 8 by 10 to get 80 meters squared. And again, squares and rectangles should be a review for you. So I want you guys to try this one. Before I write down the answer, I want you guys to think about. You're going to be finding area, which is going to be base times height. So I'm going to give you about just a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the answer of the area of this rectangle. Go ahead and see if you can figure it out before I put the answer down. All right, let's check how we did. So, base times height. Our right angle connects our base to our height. So, 13 times 6. We should have come up with 78 inches squared. That one got a little bit off the page, so there you go.
All righty. The last shape that we're going to talk about is a shape called parallelograms. In our CPM textbook, we were actually saw a lot of these. Um, they spend a lot of time on parallelograms, and again, it's the same formula, base times height, because parallelograms are really just rectangles in disguise. And what do I mean by rectangles in disguise? Well, we can actually break them apart and rebuild them to figure out where it is. If you look at this rectangle over here, you will see that if we kind of like, if we were just kind of like basically where this dotted line was, if I was to cut this piece off, I could move it or slide it over here to make a rectangle. So let's try that. So I'm going to basically cut right along this line and I'm going to slide it over and it's now I want to still keep that piece so you guys can see it. Gonna look like a rectangle. This piece that I slid over, it's still six. And this whole side is still nine. My right angle was right there. Here you can clearly see that the base times the height is still looking like a rectangle. Parallelograms can be moved around. We have to be careful when we're looking at parallelograms because we want to make sure that we're focusing on that right angle piece. That right angle is going to always tell us where our base and our height is. If you look at parallelograms, we have this nice little slanted side. We do not want to use that one. So here we go. Base. Base is nine. Right angle tells me it's going to connect my base to my height. It's nine times six, which would give me 54 meters squared. Okay. Again, we're able to use this formula because we can basically turn this parallelogram into a rectangle. Okay, so I want you guys to use this as an example. Can we and can you tell me what the area is of this parallelogram? All right, use this as an example and see if you can find the area for this parallelogram. I'm going to give you a little bit of time to do so. Go ahead. Alrighty, let's see how we did. Area is always being able to find the base times the height. That right angle is going to connect our base to our height. So our base is 12. The height is 4. If I multiply these two pieces together, I get 48. Remember your labels. These are centimeters. We are dealing with area, so it is squared. 48 centimeters squared. Okay. And that, folks, is a nice review of being able to find the area of squares, rectangles, and parallelograms. Remembering that when you are finding the area, look for that right angle. That right angle is going to connect your base to your height so you can always be sure that you are finding the correct elements. Good luck and have a fantastic day.